Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to week two, day three of Cumberland at Home Summer Edition. For those of you that might be just joining us today, my name is Mrs. Driggers, and I am so excited to be working with you with math. As we continue to work on addition and subtraction equations, today our focus is going to be working on two missing add-ins. We are going to be building the number 20, but we need to come up with different combinations to make that number. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, before we begin, let's make sure we have all the materials that we need. In your learning kit packet on page three, you should have a second blank recording sheet for um, the double headed penny edition. You will also need your pencil. And then in addition to your 20 pennies, Mrs. Driggers has 20 dimes. Okay, because today we're going to challenge ourselves. So you want to have your 20 pennies and your 20 and and 20 dimes, you could have 20 nickels, whatever um, other material that you can get 20 of, please do that. And then you would have your little baggie um, to put everything in. All right, so take just a minute and get your materials together and we'll get started here. If you remember yesterday, we came up with different combinations to make 20. We picked pennies out of the bag using our left hand, and then we picked the rest of the pennies out with our right hand. We used the counting on strategy to help us build the number 20. Today, today I am going to give you a possible scenario or problem that will allow us to build the number 20 using different combinations of pennies and dimes. So let's look at this problem together. Mrs. Driggers is going to use our stop sign strategy to help us break down this problem to figure out what it's actually asking us. So the first time I'm just going to read it all the way through so we have an understanding of what the situation or the scenario is. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go step by step in each sentence and we're going to look at the information that it's providing us. So let's begin. Mrs. Driggers has 20 coins in her pocket. Some coins are pennies and some coins are dimes. How many different combinations of pennies and dimes can Mrs. Driggers have? As we reread the word problem and apply our stop sign strategy, remember, we're going to stop anytime we see a punctuation mark, a period, a question mark, a comma, and we're also going to stop when we see or hear the words and or but. So let's begin. Mrs. Driggers has 20 coins in her pocket. Stop. I stopped because there was a period after the word pocket. So think about what did this first sentence tell us? Who is the word, who is the sentence talking about? It's talking about Mrs. Driggers. What did it tell us about her? It told us that she has 20 coins in her pocket. Okay, let's keep going. Some coins are pennies. And stop, I'm stopping because of that word and right here. What did the beginning of this sentence tell us? It told us that some of these 20 coins are pennies. Did it tell us how many are pennies? No, it used the word some. Let's keep going. Some coins are pennies and some coins are dimes. Stop. I stopped because there was a period at the end of the sentence. What did the second part of the sentence tell us? Very good. It told us that some of these coins 
are dimes. How many different combinations of pennies and dimes can Mrs. Driggers have? Stop. I stopped because I saw the question mark at the end of this sentence. Now, this question mark is telling us that there is a question being asked. The words how many is telling us that they want to know a total or a value of the different combinations of pennies and dimes. Okay, so if you remember, we have 20 coins, okay? We don't have 20 dimes or 20 pennies, we have 20 coins. Some of those 20 coins are pennies and some of them are dimes. It's our job to figure out how many different combinations of both pennies and dimes can Mrs. Driggers have, all right? So as we're going to get started, know that there isn't just one answer, okay? Because there's different combinations. We know that we have a total of 20 coins, okay? We know that there could be a variety of different combinations of the, the number of pennies in Mrs. Drigger's pocket and the number of dimes in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. So what it's asking us is to figure out how many different combinations we can come up with that are the possible um, number, of the, that, that could be the possible number of coins in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. All right, so let's begin. I have two hands, paper hands, here in my video. All right, because we have both dimes and pennies, I'm going to, as I pick out, you're, instead of um, picking out a handful of them, you're going to pick out one coin at a time. I'm gonna put all of my pennies in the left hand and all of my dimes in the right hand. Now, when will I know it's time to stop? What do you think? If I go back to my problem, I know there's 20 coins in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. I have more than 20 coins in my jar. So I want to, as I pick out one coin at a time and I sort them between my pennies and my dimes, I'm counting up to the number 20. And when I get to 20, I'm going to stop. Are you ready? Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20. So I'm stopping here because I counted 20 coins. Even though I still have some coins left in my jar or in my bag, I'm stopping because that is the total number of coins in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. The next step I want to do is count the number of pennies I have and the number of dimes I have. So I'm just going to slide this up and I'm going to start with my left hand. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay? So in my left hand, I have thirteen pennies. So on my recording sheet, the pennies in my left hand, I'm going to write down the number 13. Now I know this is going to equal 20 because in my problem, it says that Mrs. Driggers has 20 coins in her pocket. All right, so I have 13 pennies and I'm gonna cross out the word pennies up here and I'm gonna write the word dimes because that's how many, we're looking at the different combinations. All right, so now, let's count how many dimes we have. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven. Okay, so I have seven dimes. Let's read this equation together. 13 plus seven equals 20. All right, so yesterday we practiced the counting on strategy to make sure and double check that we have the total number, um, the total value that we need. Now, if you recall, when you count on, you want to pick the biggest number and start at the biggest number and then count on. When I'm looking at my coins, okay, my pennies have 13 and my dimes have seven. So between the two numbers of 13 and seven, which number is the biggest? Absolutely, 13. So I'm gonna lock 13 in my brain, okay? I'm gonna share my thinking out loud. So I would say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is one possible combination of the number of coins that Mrs. Driggers could have in her pocket. She could have 13 pennies and seven dimes. Let's see a different combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so I stopped at 20 again because that's the number of coins that Mrs. Driggers has in her pocket. Let's count the number of pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven pennies in her pocket. So the number of pennies that were in my left hand was eleven.
Now, let's see how many dimes were in my pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine dimes in my pocket. Now remember, how many total coins does Mrs. Driggers have in her pocket? She has 20, so this combination, 11 and nine, will equal 20. Let's read this equation together. 11 plus nine equals 20. All right, so let's begin by checking using our counting on strategy to check to make sure that we made the number 20. So between the number 11 and nine, which number is bigger? I want to start with 11 because 11 is greater than nine. So let's lock 11 in our brain and then count on. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job. So right now we have two different combinations of coins that Mrs. Driggers could have in her pocket. We could have 13 pennies and seven dimes, 11 pennies and nine dimes. Let's keep going. Let's count the number of pennies and the number of dimes. There were eight pennies and 12 dimes. Remember that there are 20 coins in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. Some of them are pennies and some of them are dimes. So in this combination, we have eight pennies and 12 dimes. If I want to use my counting on strategy to double check to make sure that I have all 20 coins, I wanna start with the biggest number. So I'm gonna start with 12, lock 12 in my brain, and count on. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, boys and girls. We have come up with so far three different combinations of different coins or different values of the coins that could possibly be in Mrs. Drigger's pocket. If I were to count the number of pennies in my left hand, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I know that I had ten Now let's count the number of dimes. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had ten dimes in my pocket. This combination of ten pennies and ten dimes. Ten <clears throat> is the same value. So to think about counting on and selecting the biggest number, we don't have the biggest number because 10 is the same value as 10. <clears throat> so I can start at 10 and count on to double check that it makes 20. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. So another possible combination of coins in Mrs. Drigger's pocket could be 10 pennies and 10 dimes. Let's try one more together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so let's begin by counting the number of pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are fifteen pennies. <clears throat> and let's count the number of dimes. One, two, three, four, five, and five dimes. So let's read this number sentence together. 15 plus five equals 20. All right, so <clears throat> counting on, we're gonna start with the biggest number. So between the number 15 and five, 15 is bigger or greater than five. So let's count on from 15 and add five more. So lock 15 in your brain. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. As we wrap up our lesson together today, it's really important that we go back to our word problem and see, did we answer our question? If you remember, the question asked, how many different combinations of pennies and dimes can Mrs. Driggers have? Well, together, we came up with one, two, three, four, five different combinations of coins. We came up with 13 pennies and seven dimes, 11 pennies and nine dimes, eight pennies and 12 dimes, 10 pennies and 10 dimes, 15 pennies and five dimes. 
I bet there are more combinations of different coins that Mrs. Driggers can have in her pocket. Can you come up with at least three more different combinations on your own? I bet you can. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I really enjoyed our time together. We had so much fun coming up with the possible combinations of different coins that can be found in my pocket. As you continue to work on this activity, I wonder how many different combinations you can come up with. Have fun, and until we see each other tomorrow, have a great afternoon. Bye.